So like when I tell you my heel is like, it be trying to scrape the ground like just a little bit. and welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title we are going to be filming a collective haul now listen this was not all got at one time this this is very long overdue um so we're basically going to say this is kind of accumulation of things from august september and october so there's really no place to start except to just get in. This is going to be all clothing, shoes, bags, that kind of a thing. Um, I am going to start doing a little bit of research on some fall scents, go do some samples to hopefully get a fragrance video out for you guys before the end of fall and winter. So just be patient with me. I need to do some Googles and some, you know, just some research on some things. So anywho, if you are interested in seeing any of my most recent purchases, then of course, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this video. Um, like I'm going to go by brand. I think that'll just be the easiest way to do it is to just try to go by brand because um, I have accumulated quite a few things from specific brands so to start right here in front of me I got another pair of the Yeezy foam runners these are I have no idea what the color of this is uh, you guys know I am not a sneakerhead okay I am a wannabe um I'm not a streetwear girl okay but these are really comfortable they're like spaceship crocs that's what I call them I have them in a whole bunch of colors very on trend very basic Instagram you know but they're really comfortable and I think they're cuter than Crocs for sure so um, I get these from a shoe plug that I have here in Atlanta um, I'll link his page down below but I'm gonna just be real with y'all it's still resale prices so they definitely not for the low low so you can also check like go and whatever else wherever else the sneaker people sell their stuff at girl but yeah these are a pair of Yeezys that I got uh, I have you you guys know I wear these like crazy if you watch me you know okay so I got some new shoes from Dior and you guys I love these shoes like I just I literally just got these a couple of days ago um I purchased them in Saks um I didn't go there for these and then they just were like speaking to me so ah! so these are the yep don't the oh I do know the name of these they are the J'adore Dior um, sling back pumps okay so fall and winter is here and I am a pump girl you're gonna see I have a lot of pumps in this haul but y'all know me I am a heel girl uh, boots are cute don't get me wrong I like a good boot every now and then but I'm a heel girl I love a nice stiletto faux five six inch heel it is my it's just for me so since it is cold outside it's getting colder pumps are my way to go a nice pointed toe mm. anyways let me show you all the shoes that's all you care about I haven't even taken these out of the box yet so oh, talk about a shoe so I got them in white because I don't have a white pump and I needed a white pump and the sling back like the jador it just is so just Ugh, it just makes you feel like a lady like I don't know about you guys but I think that pumps are definitely one of the sexiest shoes you can put on your feet I believe this is a 100 millimeter heel let me see if it's on here I'm pretty sure it's 100 millimeter yes it is a hundred millimeters which is about four inches basically so it's a four inch heel nice perfect high but not too high you're not in the 115 range so that's good um but just a beautiful shoe out oh, stinking cute so I'll show you them together um this is they're not white white they're like an off-white um and this, they are a patent leather so they're shiny I did get these in a 39 and a half and let me explain to you why so I tried on a 40 as well and I'm gonna keep it a buck with you I definitely probably should have got the 40 because my right foot is a little bit bigger than my left and by a little bit I mean like a lot of it so like when I tell you my heel is like it be trying to scrape the ground like just a little bit but listen the silhouette the way I have a very narrow foot um that my feet are very skinny and bony so the silhouette of the shoe from the front just looked so much better to me in the 39 and a half because it was tighter on my foot versus the 40 it, you it had a little bit of give and the silhouette of the foot just didn't look as good from the front so I just said I will suffer and cram my toes in here I can always take them to a shoe stretcher um and get them stretched 
Um, but yeah, so I got a 39 and a half, but I do suggest going one full size up because I'm a, a nine, which is a 39, but I typically wear a 40 in all of my shoes. So maybe I'm a 10, who knows? But anyways, so yes, absolutely love these. I cannot wait to wear them. i have already trying to plan some outfits, super excited. Um, oh, and for all the items, you guys, anything that I can find, I will link down below. Uh, so yeah. Oh, um, and then price, let me see. These were $9.50. For anything that I can remember, I will let you guys know, but I don't think I have receipts for everything. So child, we'll see. Okay, now let's go into Chanel. I got these while I was in Spain. So unfortunately I do not have the box and bag to do a whole little unboxing. But if you follow me on TikTok, or if you go look at my TikTok, I do have an unboxing for these boots. If you wanna see how they came to be able to fit them in my suitcase, girl, I had to get rid of all that. So anyways, I don't know the name of these because I don't have the box, but these gorgeous little booties, okay? So these are a nice casual fall boot, thick heel, ankle, not too tight, not too sexy, okay? Giving the girls what they need. These also come in white. Stunning, they didn't have my size, so I only got the black. But listen, I got these in a 40. I told you guys, I'm a 40. Um, so it has the Chanel logo here, or it just says Chanel, in white. And then the plate that it's on, it's like a champagne gold, because it can look really silver, but then sometimes it looks gold. So I'm definitely gonna say champagne. It is a leather boot, and then you have like the toe here, which is in some kind of fabric. I couldn't tell you, girl. And then uh, it zips through the back. Gold zippering. Now the zipper is gold hardware, so that's why I also say that this has to be champagne, because I don't really see them doing silver here and then bright gold here. So, and then it has the cute little CC on the, on the zipper pull. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, and they are super comfy, really easy to put on. I mean, I haven't worn them yet, so let me not say they're super comfy, but from the moment that I have put them on my feet for 30 seconds or less, they feel fine. So I'm super excited about these. These are definitely like a nice casual, um, you can, you'll get a lot of wear out of these, or at least I plan to. This for me is like a, it's cold outside and y'all know me, I be trying to look nice no matter when I leave the house. So this is a nice little boot to just elevate your leggings and sweater. You get what I'm saying? Like if you put this cute pair of boots on, oh, instead of like sneakers, it really just elevates it. So that's what I got these for. I cannot wait to wear these. Okay, let's get into some clothes. Okay, I'm ready to get into some clothes. So let's start with Zara. So I actually have gotten quite a few more things from Zara than what you guys are about to see. Y'all know I love me some Zara, okay? They're like that medium price tier and usually the quality is pretty decent. I have a whole lot more things from Zara, but there's a couple reasons why I'm not seeing them. Number one is I actually took you guys in a vlog with me and we did some Zara shopping in store and tried everything on, showed you the reference um, information. So if I can remember, I will link that video here if you're interested in that and then number two is i placed another order and it didn't get here in time and i was like there's enough stuff in this haul and i cannot keep pushing it off trying to wait for things to come in so let's get into it so i got a couple of these bomber jackets that were on sale um these are just um nylon i guess fake nylon this is probably just plastic to be honest with you who knows you know what the tag will know how about that i got these in a size small and they were on sale Child, i don't know what this is Anyways, it's a jacket. I have one in black. It is silver hardware for the zippers, nice scrunch on the wrist, and then they are um, fitted at the waist, so that's really nice. Um, so they do give you a nice little silhouette. And they're cropped, but they're not like super cropped like way up here. They definitely hit right at about my natural waist, but I do have a short torso, so that could be why. So I got a couple, I got two of these because like I said, it was on sale. I think I paid $30 for this. It's normally $69.90. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got these for $35 a piece. So I also got it in this army green. Looks like this. How stinking cute. And they're pretty like, these definitely are not coats, okay? But these are great for fall. Like, you know, you just need to throw something on over a nice, you know, sporty or casual fit. It'll look really cute. So now I got this top because of Shaneen here on YouTube or Too Much Mouth. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar, I will tag her here. She has been doing so many different lookbooks on her Instagram and I seen this top. I said, oh, ordered immediately, okay? Um, so this is the, what is the name? Okay, they don't be putting the names on here. But anyways, I got a size small. I don't know if I said that about the jackets. I got a size small in this too. 
it is this gorgeous like camel brown it's very thin it almost gives me like light linen type of vibes so this definitely will not keep you warm but it is extremely freaking cute um and it has a elastic waist band here that just kind of hugs it is cropped and then it buttons all the way up so you can have it super more modest if you don't want to show any cleavage or you can unbutton it all the way and take the titties up girl whatever your vibe is it is collared it has a little bit of texture to it um and then like the arms are kind of like open so there's this slit where it goes to the um what is this called y'all it's not called wrist buttons because that's what i want to say but that is not the real name cufflinks is this a cufflink? Ciao. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it has this hole here till it gets to your wrist. So that's kind of cute. I like that. I can't lie. I would have been just fine if that was closed, but the, the top is still really, really cute. And this was $49.90. I like this top. I definitely think I'll get some good wear out of this, and it's a nice, cute little top. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys from Zara isn't really fallish. One of my subscribers actually sent me the, a photo of this skirt on Instagram, and I was like, oh you know me to a T. This is for an upcoming vacation that I have and it is this gorgeous skirt. So it is like thick knitted and then it has this like fringing at the bottom. I love the colors in it. Just super like neutral but warm and just mm, feel good colors, right? And then it has this nice pop of blue. Really, really pretty. I got this in an extra small and I will say uh, this runs huge in my opinion. Like I feel like this is supposed to be form fitting so um yeah that even the extra small to me i feel like i could have went even smaller so um just be weary of that but it is a gorgeous gorgeous skirt the knitting is like so thick this skirt is like gotta be like right at a, a little bit under a pound or so so just to let you know how heavy this is oh did i tell you the price and this was 49.90 as well and i think that that is super well 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 worth it like i think I would have paid $90 for this skirt. I ain't even gonna hold you. This is, I mean, I would have paid whatever they asked me for, but <laughs> I think this is a really nice skirt and this is definitely something I'm gonna keep in my wardrobe until summer of next year because I just think it's perfect, so. So let's get into some more one offers um, because like I said, I'm kind of trying to group things, but then I also wanna hit some of the one offers. So a next piece that I have is from a designer called, her name is Issa Boulder. I believe that's how you say it. Let me look at the tag. Issa Boulder. So this is the short wafer dress in Tiger and I got this in a medium and I did that because I just knew this was going to be so short. So on the hanger it like doesn't look like much but you guys this little mini dress is so cute. I got this uh, for vacation. I haven't been able to wear it yet but I think that this is just so stinking cute. I got it on Sense. I'm pretty sure I got this on Sense. Um, and it has just the tagging here that just kind of tells you all the information about the dress. Um, obviously dry clean only, blah, blah, blah. Been made, oh, so these are made in Bali. It says um, made by our local artisans based in Bali. So it does have some really good stretch. It fits so nice. Love this. I think the like neckline is super sexy. So I really, really like this and I cannot wait to go somewhere so I can wear it, okay? All right, now up next, you guys have already seen this dress. I love this dress now. I haven't um, dry cleaned it yet since I wore it. So it has a, some makeup stains. It look a little dingy right now, but I will insert a photo. I'm not gonna put it back on, but I'll insert a photo of me wearing it here. Um, and, or here, wherever I'm putting the double screen. This dress is from Alaya. I don't know if you guys can see, or Alia. I don't know how you say it. Y'all know, I don't ever know how to pronounce anything. What did Kanye say? Y'all can't even pronounce nothing. Pass that for safety. This is just so stinking cute. It is literally just a cotton shirt. Okay, look, now when I tell y'all, this was a very splurge buy. I was taking Tasha out for dinner that night. I had nothing to wear and nothing to wear. And I was in Saks and girl, I had no intentions of buying the dress because I looked at the price tag and I said, absolutely not. But I was like, I just wanna try it on. I just wanna see, which you should never do. If you said, no, you're not gonna buy it. No, you're not gonna buy it. Don't try it on. I tried it on. I said, well, I can't leave it here now. <laughs> I can't leave it here now. So this dress, I got it in a size small. And I this is actually a shirt. 
but y'all i wore it as a dress okay i just put some bloomers on underneath because it is very short it is extremely short so i suggest i wore mine buttoned up because it is so short so having all your leg out and cleavage would have just been too much so um i put the tatas up but left the legs out it was so sexy so just mm. It fit so well, okay? And this is 100% cotton. It's just a cotton shirt. So please be prepared. It wrinkles like crazy, but it is so pretty. Um, this dress, I don't remember how much it was. I wanna say, I'm not even gonna tell you, but I'm gonna link it down below if I can find it for y'all. And yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Shout out to Jan for helping me decide on this because it's so funny when I was in sex, I was like, Jan, is this too much? Cause it was really short. And she was like, just cover up your boobs. And I was like, smart woman so i love it um and yeah super duper cute and i do plan to wear this a lot during the fall i'm gonna be putting stockings and boots with this ensemble because look we finna wear this dress okay it is too cute and it was too expensive so my next one offer is from jimmy chew uh okay listen i told y'all i was a pump girl okay i don't know the name of this pump i'm gonna assume it's the love 100 this is another 100 millimeter pump um and i got it in ballet pink which is a really pretty nude it goes with so many of my nude bags and you guys i've worn these a couple of times i can't be wearing these these is my shoes girl how stunning look at the point look at how much toe room you have in these these are definitely going to be an extremely comfortable a more comfortable pump okay I don't know if you guys can see how long this area is here for your toes. So you get a lot of room, okay? And I just love these. I got them in a size 40 and they fit great. I love the heel. They're just so sexy. Love the color. They just make your feet look so cute. Ah, these are just adorable. Um, and yeah, I got these uh, at the Jimmy Choo here in um, Atlanta. Shops at Buckhead. I cannot remember the young man who helped me, but he was great. And they rush ordered these. I literally got them overnight. Like I bought them at like two o'clock on Friday. They were delivered to my door Saturday at noon. Okay. Cause they didn't have my size in stock in this color. So shout out to him for helping me. But yeah, uh, love these. And I definitely think that these are something that every girl needs in their closet. Okay. So get you a cute nude pump girl. And y'all know Steve Madden got all the dupes. So if you see anything in here and you just like, I don't want to pay that, baby, I promise you Steve Madden done made the same thing, okay? It might not be leather. Oh, and those are patent leather. Oh, so sexy and shiny. Oh, just love, 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 love. Okay, so the next one offer that I have is from Amina Mwadi. Oh, you guys. If you know me or any of my friends, you can ask them. I used to say that this shoe just screamed I made it to me, right? Like I used to tell Julian, I was like, that shoe just says I made it. Like I'm I'm here and I'm ready. So yeah, I used to tell Julian, that shoe to me just gives me, I've made it in life, I'm successful, I got money, like look at my shoe. That's what I used to tell him. So when I seen these, uh, I actually bought these from Bergdorf Goodman, I believe that's how you say the store name. Um, I follow Jerry, I don't know her full name, but I will tag her, I'll put her Instagram here or down below in the comments or, or the description. Um, she works at Bergdorf and she helped me secure these. She posted these and said she had my size. I said, let me get them, order right now. So, and she sent them to me. I got them in like two days. Uh, I got these in a 40 and a half, really could have got a 41. But that's okay. I, I'm actually glad I didn't get a 41 and I'll explain to you why in just a second. These are the Belgium glass sling back pumps from Amina. So here they are in all their glory. Now, isn't it so funny that the shoe that screams money to me is a PVC shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these are just adorable to me. I love the toe on them. They are just so cute and so unique and just, I just love it, girl. Now these on a comfortability scale, because I've worn these about three or four times now, I give them like a six. They're not terrible, but they are not great. Um, I also want to say that these get extremely dirty easily. They will scratch. You need to be very careful because once these start getting kind of scratched up, they start looking real cheap there are tons of dupes on these as well everywhere if you're interested in anything like that um and yeah i just they're just so cute these are my i finally made it shoes so thank you amina and thank you to you guys <laughs> so i absolutely love these now what i was saying about why i'm glad i got a 40 and a half is because the sling back part uh, i feel like if i would have got a 41 this would have been too loose and it wouldn't hold my foot tight um 
and the only reason I would have wanted a 41 is just for more toe room. So, because my, my toes do be in there like these. So, if you ever see me wearing these, don't look at my toes because they are like these. And you can see through this. Okay. Okay, so let's get into some more clothes. All right. So, um, okay, a good one offer. I ordered these pants. I got these on Forward, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the brand is, let me see, Seroya? Sir, oh yeah, I don't know. Um, and they are just these like really funky jeans. I guess these are, yeah, these are denim um, or kind of denim-ish. But they have these like patchwork going on and these different neutral colors, but then it has like jean. It's almost like you're wearing a pair of jeans under here. Now I know you're kind of like, eh, these kind of look a little tacky, but just wait till you see me style these. Like I have a vision for them. I just need to order the rest of the outfit because these are the only part of the outfit I got. But these are super cute. I ordered these in a, I had to send them back because I got them in a 27, I think. And girl, I could not get them past my knees. Okay, it was not coming up. It wasn't giving, they weren't going. Okay, so I ended up getting them in a 30 this time. And I just need to get them um, taken in because they're huge now. But they fit over my legs and my butt great. So once I get the waist taken in, they will be perfect. Um, I just have to wait because Miss Joyce is currently moving and renovating her new shop. So we have to wait till she's open. So we have tons of things to take her. Trust me, you guys will see more of the things we have to take. But we have lots of stuff to take to Miss Joyce. And she actually still has some of my clothes. So yeah. Okay, this next top is from a brand called PE Nation. I also got this on Forward. I just thought this was just so funky and so cool. So I bought it. There's a pair of pants that I want to go with this. I just haven't um, purchased them yet. And I should have because they were in store and then I didn't buy them. I always do this. I see stuff and I don't get it and then it's gone. This is in a size small and it's just kind of like this mesh. Oh, girl, that's a tag. I thought something was on my shirt. It's just this like mesh holographic. I don't even know what you would call this, but I thought it was so cute. It fits well. Um, I would probably tuck it in. I don't like this trimming on the... Um, on the bottom of the shirt but I loved the colors and just the swirl and y'all know I'd be wearing black and new all the time so I was like oh, a little red a little pop of red pink whatever blue this is cute so yeah I got this okay the next item is this gorgeous jumpsuit you won't really be able to see it from here also when I tried it on it's pretty wrinkly so it'll be looking it's looking a little cheapy but I promise this is so nice it feels so good this is from Rat and Boa it is this deep plunge body or jumpsuit wide leg so cute cannot wait to wear this on vacation okay that is what I got this for but I just need to wait to be able to wear it um it is just I'm sorry I love it I, I cannot wait to wear it gorgeous um I didn't take my boobs so don't be coming for me because I'm y'all know I'm not wasting my, my booby tape for a try on haul okay but yeah I got this online at their direct website um and it came super duper fast and I just I just thought it was so perfect for vacation you know and green is in right now if y'all ain't know green <laughs> is the color okay I don't have a lot of green this is the only thing green here I guess but green girl is the color of the summer they is running it up I mean it's fall now, fall, winter. Green than the color of the summer. It's the color of the year. And I blame Bottega. But we'll talk about that in a minute. The last one-off item that I have is this uh, bustier top from Rick Owens. Okay, now I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I actually wish I could have returned this, but I waited too long to open it and then it was past the return date. I'm pretty sure I ordered this on Farfetch um, and it was on sale. So I think I got it for like 200 instead of the normal price. Um, let me see. Yeah, and I got this in a size 42. Yep, I did get it at Farfetch. So it's cute. But like, I don't, eh, eh, eh. So we just have two brands left to do and it's YSL and Bottega. And we got a lot of pieces from each. I'm gonna start with YSL and then we'll do Bottega. So I got these biker shorts from YSL. These are their biker shorts, ribbed biker shorts in black. They have this cute logoing in gold right at the bottom of the right leg. High waisted and they come right above the knee on me. It's a very flattering length. Looks really good. I got these in a size small um, and I believe these were $5.90. I purchased these here at the YSL store in Atlanta. 
Shout out to my girls for helping me out. Um, and then this is not the top that I wanted to get, but I'm actually kind of glad I ended up getting this top. So this is a, is the sheer um, mock neck. It's not a full turtleneck, but it is definitely like a mock neck. I don't know if you guys can see that it's sheer. It's not super sheer, but it's, it's a little see-through. Like, let me pull one layer out and see if you guys can see what I'm saying. You see? Yeah. So it's kind of sexy, not doing too much. It also has the logo right here on the right side. Is it on the right side? Nope, on the left side of the neck. So it's just a cute little bling bling, really, really cute. Um, I don't remember the price of this and I got this in an extra small, but only because it was the only size they had, so yeah. Um, I'll get the shoes in a second because they're in this fat ass box. And I just do not feel like bending over to get it right now. So we'll keep going with the clothes. So the next item that I got is this cute cream turtleneck. Okay, so this is a full length sweater from YSL. Um, what size did I get this in? I think I got this in a small as well. Yes, I got this in a size small. I ordered this on forward. Pretty sure. Girl, I just be on forward every day. Anyways, um, again, it's just a turtleneck. I believe this is cashmere and wool, or it might be full wool. Hold on. So yes, this sweater is um, cashmere and wool, uh, and it's super, like, very warm, thick, really, really nice material. But let me tell y'all something. I got fat arms, okay? I got, I, I'll be telling y'all I have lunch lady arms. I popped a hole as soon as I tried it on right here in the armpit. So I have to take it to YSL to let the um, seamstress fix it for me. But yeah, I haven't even freaking worn it yet, but whatever. Um, and it also has the emblem on the turtleneck. Now this is a full blown turtleneck. I'm talking, girl, this, this be coming all the way to my chin chin, okay? And I got a big one. So if you have a small chin, baby, it's just gonna cover the whole bottom half of your face, okay? I'm being dramatic, but it is a very high turtleneck, okay? But it is super cute, and I just figured I would get so much wear out of this in the winter um, because it's a cream turtleneck. You will wear it with everything. So the last clothing item that I have from YSL are these corduroy pants. Girl, we gonna bring it corduroy back. This is such a fall winter like item. It's insane. They are in this cognac camel color. Now they look gigantic because they are y'all know i have to order first of all if you know corduroy you know it does not stretch okay so elite i had to go up a whole lot of sizes now these are not a high waisted pant so if you are someone who only wears high waisted pants please be aware these come there i wouldn't call them low rise but they come they're, they're gonna come right at your like natural waist um i got these in a size girl a 42 <laughs> which is like a us 10 i think or a 12 10 a US 10 and yeah they are just so thick and heavy you do not want to wear these until it is cold outside girl because they are so heavy but they are like I'm talking nice quality there is no stretch in these so please be mindful I definitely would suggest sizing up and then get them getting them tailored to fit perfectly and they are so long I'm talking long 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 and if you are even taller and you need more room um, for those of you who alter your clothes a lot, you're pretty familiar. The give that they leave at the bottom is so much. Like there's about four inches of extra fabric that your seamstress can um, seam rip and extend your pant if you need it to be longer. Which I, I can't see nobody needing them longer because they are long. I feel like the inseam on these is like 35, 35 inches. So anywho, love these pants, super duper cute. Um, I can't wait to style this and wear those for the fall. So the last YSL thing that I have are these shoes, okay? Hoo child, I had to go dig up this box to, <laughs> to put these in here for y'all. So whenever YSL does their like runway collection type stuff, they put it in this different type of box. So I don't know if you guys can see in how the shoes are like in this like styrofoam. It is so cool. I just put them back in here for the video. Now listen, this, this is a shoe. So these are the YSL Instinct um, Heel in black. These are, I believe, 100 millimeters? 110. And that's why they hurt so goddamn bad. Okay, I've worn these once. Probably will never wear them again because when I say the most painful shoe I've ever put on. Now, if you are a shoe, a heel girl, you already know why these are the most painful because most people are gonna say, oh, cause the heel is so high. Oh, cause they're so thin and flat. No, baby, this toe thong, 
It's gonna rip you a whole nother foot. Whatever foot you got it on, you're gonna have two left feet and two right feet because it's gonna split them both in half. This, no. They're such a cute shoe though, but God, no. Very awful. Okay, so uh, I knew as soon as they had it, I said, I didn't even go try it on. I didn't do nothing. I said, give it to me. I got mine in a 40. 40 was good. Definitely wouldn't have went up a size. They fit great. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're just a super sexy shoe. Very dramatic. Really fun. Definitely can spice up a really simple outfit if you just want something to just kind of give it a little razzle dazzle. Um, but I knew I probably wouldn't get a lot of wear out of these, but I just was like, I need them because I missed the original YSL feather shoe. So I was like, okay, I want these. So absolutely love, but I also absolutely hate. So if you never see me wearing them again, you know why. I also would like to say that um, I hate that these are like tie up your leg shoes because the ties grip the feathers and rip them out and that's the whole reason you want the shoes so that's a little annoying but other than that love the shoe beautiful absolutely stunning um and yeah 10 out of 10 if you see them anywhere grab them all right so the last brand on the list is bottega we have a couple of pieces um and they were all kind of sporadic i have a, a couple of stories but Whatever, let's get into it. So let's start with a bag. Uh, I got this bag to go with a specific outfit. I literally was like, I just need a bluey type of bag. And then I ended up not even liking the outfit and now I'm not wearing the outfit ever. So now I have the bag, I don't know, but I'm keeping the bag because I might be able to wear it with something. Anyways, I kept the bag because Listen to my words very closely. This is an expensive bag, but it's inexpensive in the range of designer bags and especially Bottega. So this is the double knot bag and I don't know the color, but it's kind of like a sea foamy blue. It's like a baby blue, but like with a green undertone. So this is the double knot. It is just a soft leather bag, no structure, double knot. I would suggest stuffing it to make it look better. Um, I believe this bag goes for like 1100 if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me. Actually, there should be a receipt in here. There is. Here, I'll tell you. It is $12.50. I'm sorry, I lied. But it's super duper cute. Um, silver hardware, in case anybody cares. So this was kind of like a dud buy, but I'm not going to return it because I feel like the moment I return it, I'm going to have something where I'm like, damn, I wish I had that bag. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep her and see what we can do with her. Okay, so this is also from Matea. I love this bag. This is so different for me. I'm so excited about it. So y'all know Bottega still don't got no bags for, or boxes for their bags, which is so tacky considering how expensive they are and the demand and how popular they are. You would really think that they would invest in boxes for the bags. But anyways, comes in a dust bag like this and it is the pouch bag in teak. I needed a brown bag for the fall and winter. Um, it's kind of like a camel, but not as as cognac-y. It's not as orangey as camel can come off. So it's a little more, it falls a little more neutral, just a little, but it is so singing cute. Like I, oh my God, the paper is kind of coming out. So I believe this is the, I don't know what size this is considered large maybe now listen you guys know i'm a small bag girl but we just had to step out of it for a moment because like what what please so cute i'm so in love i just got it and i've literally kept it in the bag this entire time all day i haven't looked at it so i'm very excited to have it in my hands and like it's just so cute Absolutely love. Totally worth the money. Uh, I think this was, is my receipt not in my bag? Where, what? Or did I pull it out? Is this the receipt? Or is this the receipt for the other one? Oh no, this is it. Oh, and shout out to Joyce for helping me at Bottega. If you're ever there, ask for her, she's super sweet. Um, this was $27.90. So after tax, it hit at right about $3,040. So I think that for the size and the quality of the leather, I just think it's so cute. But I absolutely love this bag. Okay, up next, y'all, I have these pair of shoes that I was not going to fall into the hype for. I have a story. So these shoes that I'm about to show y'all were not the shoes that I wanted. 
I originally wanted the Feather Dot Sandal from Bottega. I've talked about this maybe like five million times, but I just can't get over it. I pre-ordered them in August, okay? They came back on the site for a pre-order. I said, I'm not missing my shot. So a month goes by, it's now September. They were supposed to ship September 17th. It's now September 24th, September 30th. So I call, no update. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait it out because they're gonna ship eventually. Nope, they just canceled my order. Like on October 5th, 6th, I don't even know. Sometime this month, they canceled the order. I was devastated because I've been waiting to wear that outfit because I've been waiting for those shoes to come in because they were just gonna be a match made in heaven. Anyways, long story short, I ended up getting these instead because I really wanted something super funky and out of the box to go with this outfit and I wanted them in this color. So I fell into the hype. I ordered these on forward and they literally sold out in like 10 minutes, I feel like because I wear probably, I feel like the most popular size of 40. I feel like everywhere in the world. Anyways, so you open the box up. These again are still in the box because I just got these in the mail like four or five days ago. You get all your, your heel tabs and all that good stuff. Your dust bags. So the shoe that I got is the wire sandal in turquoise. Now, first of all, I have a complaint. Okay, good. This is cheap. Stop putting this paper stuff. And then why would you do that with this kind of shoe where it, it was all in between? I said, now who did it? Somebody really has to have a talk with Bottega about packaging. But anyway, so this is the shoe. See, look, I can't even get it out of here without all this fuzz. So this is the shoe. I am sure you guys have been seeing this all over social media because, man, these are, these are a commodity shoe. You know what I mean? It's... It's so outlandish. Like what in the, it looks like telephone wires, but it's so cool. So that's why I got them. I was like, freak it. It's a cool shoe. They're really, really funky. But honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like them as much as I did. Cause once I put them on, I was like, oh, I need to find other outfits to wear with these. They are so cool. This is like a cool shoe. Um, I, the only complaint that I have is like this, um, the part that's supposed to go up your leg, is not going to stay up your leg. There is a hard material that you can bend, but this is not gonna stay up your leg. So the way that I wore it, well, I haven't worn them yet, but when I tried them on, I was like, okay, this is how I will wear them, is I wrapped them around the ankle and then tucked the bead, the ball, under, so it kind of stayed, so that the wires were just kind of gathered around the ankle and it just looks so cute to me. So yeah, and I was actually really surprised that these fit so well. Um, so yeah, I got these in a size 40 and they are just the cutest things in the world. So definitely happy to have them a part of my collection, especially because they are selling out like nobody's business. I know everyone's in with the green. The green is so popping right now, but I just really wanted the blue for the outfit that I wanted. And I just feel like it's going to look so freaking good. I just, mm. so, so glad I got these super duper cute. And, um, I don't remember the price on these, but like I said, if I can find them somewhere, I will link them for you guys. Alrighty you guys, so that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like the pieces. Let me know what your favorite piece was, what you have on your wish list, or if you have something you think I would like, girl, send it my way. I also do have more clothing like hauls coming up that just simply didn't make it here. I have a JLux label order coming in. I have more Zara. I have my outfit online. I have a lot of other clothes coming. So just stay tuned if you're interested in more fall gear things as well so i hope y'all enjoyed of course don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and of course i'll see y'all in my next video how many times can i say of course i'm clearly nervous mm! thank you for watching and i will see y'all in my next one bye